Now a lot to get to this hour. In fact, we want to get to all the action happening here in the city from the campus protest. We know the NYPD moved in at both the new school and NYU, making dozens of arrests this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate covering the situation as both schools, and he is joining us now with a look at where things stand at this point. Phil? Yeah, well, Charlene, those encampment, those areas that students occupied are now being cleared out right now. NYPD officers are just guarding these doors. There are barricades just lining the front entrance of the new school. Well, this is just not a short time ago. That's as the NYPD swarmed into two separate locations of this campus just across the street from each other. I was told by Chief Shell, 43 people were arrested here. You're taking a live look now at a few students who are just left behind right now. I just want to get straight to some chopper video of when the NYPD PD moved in with several vans, dozen among dozens of officers with their protective gear on. That's as some protesters were even screaming at officers when we saw those arrested being piled inside of a bus before they were taken away just moments later. Now the next step is for them to be processed. Now students we spoke with this morning told us they weren't leaving until their demands were met. That's as students called on these institutions to divest from Israeli related entities. Now similar scenes over at NYU this morning as that encampment on the corridor was also being and cleared. That was about an hour before. Now, one professor told us that police moved in around 6 a.m. That's when many of those people on the corridor were sleeping before those arrests were made. Officials say over at NYU, 13 arrests were made between both schools. A total of 56 people were arrested and the NYPD telling us more on their operation. Late last night, both schools contacted our legal team, our deputy commissioner of legal matters, uh, deputy commissioner Mike Gerber and they requested assistance in removing the encampments inside of the school. This school in particular right here, New School, they had the whole encampment in the lobby. They were, they were preventing students from going into their dorms. Like students that belong to the school, they were preventing them access to get into their actual dorms. So it was a little, this one was a little inside. NYU, they contacted us late last night again. We got there, we gave the uh, students slash protesters slash agitators ample time to leave. I believe 13 of them wanted to stay, and we, uh, they wanted to be arrested for trespassing. That's what we did. A good operation. No one got hurt. No incidents. Both institutions are happy. We're happy, and we're moving on. And you're getting a live look right now. That's one worker who was just breaking down one of those tents. There were several tents inside of the lobby and on the floor right now. There's everything from sleeping bags, parts of a bed. There's even food, a fan, bags. I mean, many of these students brought many things inside just so that they were able to stay in here for a long period of time. Now, earlier this week, other mass arrests took place as police moved into both Columbia and City College, and that's where they arrested about 282 people. Now, important to note, we were told that about 47 of those people that were arrested weren't even affiliated with those institutions. Now, we're in Greenwich Village this morning. I'm Phil Tate, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Phil, let us know if anything changes. Of course, we're keeping a close eye on this situation. We'll bring you all the updates, the latest on the arrest, and the push to keep people safe right here on air and always online at ABC7 in Y.